I praise and thank God for this beautiful time that God has given us to come in his presence before his precious word. For this morning's meditation, let's turn to Proverbs chapter 18 verse 9. He also that is slothful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Another translation of the scripture says, he who is slack in his work is a brother to him who destroys. In this present world, man has improved in many areas of science and technology. And it is good to some extent as it has brought many beneficial things in the lives of people. But on, at the same time, it is also a, a fearful thing to see how the people of our age are being dragged by the enemy into his trap so easily. God has designed man in such a way that he has to work for his living and that keeps him healthy and nourished in his whole being. But as man has invented many ways to make his life easy, he has become more dependent on machines. I am not against industries or modern day technology as many of them are good and are working for the benefit of mankind. Some of these technologies provide jobs to people and helps man earn for his living. But there are many areas where these technologies are destroying mankind. Now when man is free from hard labor, he uses his free time to invent many crooked ways to anyhow become wealthy in a short time. And we are aware of incidents where man has lost even his humanity. and he does things that are unhealthy for himself and for others we can see how man uses his spare time enjoying sin that destroys the generations to come man is so addicted to many things that it seems impossible to get deliverance from that nowadays the younger generation is so slack in their work that even in their studies some use the help of computers more than using the wisdom and talents that god has given them you ask a child to do some calculations he immediately takes out his cell phone to do the calculations he is not in a position to use his brain and that attitude of laziness destroys their family life spiritual life and is also a great threat for their health It's a fact that a person who is active in his life is less prone to diseases. Nowadays even small children are affected by so many diseases that remain as a main concern about the lifestyle of this present generation. Till now we were looking as to how laziness is affecting the life of mankind. Well, this morning let's take a look into the consequences of laziness in the life of a child of God. We are born into the family of God where the heavenly father has chosen and redeemed us with an eternal purpose. When we watch the nature of our heavenly father we can see that he is the most loving and caring creator who watches over each of his creation and the whole universe teaches us that our heavenly father is not slack in his work as even the smallest creation is a masterpiece in its own even a small wild flower is enriched with beauty of its own yes the whole creation which is the handiwork of our father praises and reveals the nature of our father and as a child of god we are also supposed to have that same attitude of doing everything with that desire to achieve perfection in our life that to in every sphere of our life and this depends upon our spiritual growth that helps us to look at things how our heavenly father looks at everything and god gave his holy commandments to his people it was not just concerning their worship and sacrifices but it was for their daily walk as god wants his children who are a peculiar and holy nation for him to reflect the nature of god in their daily life also in the promised land where milk and honey was flowing they had the place to worship sacrifices and feasts to keep and at the same time they had to labor hard for their daily bread If they labor hard according to the law that God has given them then God will bless them with plentiful harvest. God hates people who are lazy or slack in their work. God does not just look at the worship and prayer of a person but God wants each person to use the abilities which God has given them 
for the good of others and for the glory of the creator adam was given the responsibility to take care of the creation that was in the garden of eden and the word of god gives us the testimony that god always includes those people to work out his divine plan the ones who enjoy in laboring hard and doing things with a joyful heart noah abraham rebecca joseph moses joshua daniel ruth elisha elijah and there goes on the long list of the ones who are good examples for us to follow we are called with a higher calling to be with the lord for eternity some people think growing in divine nature means spending more time in worship and prayer ignoring all other responsibilities but we can see how our lord did all his responsibilities perfectly as a son in the family of joseph and mary and labored after the lost souls as a savior and along with that he spent enough time in the presence of the heavenly father communicating with him our lord was perfect in all the aspects of his life he fulfilled his responsibilities perfectly and we are also supposed to follow his footsteps and do the responsibilities with a true and sincere heart if we are not responsible in small things of our life then can god entrust us with more responsibilities in life eternal so let us not prove ourselves as lazy ones who are good for nothing in this life on this earth let us do everything with a joyful heart that gives glory to our heavenly father and may the lord help us for that let us pray father we praise you and thank you for this beautiful time thank you for speaking to us through your word as we see your character revealed through the nature father help us to use all the abilities that you have blessed us for your glory help us to be active and not lazy help us to set up a high standard and not just follow the world as it becomes lazy may your name be glorified through our lives thank you lord for speaking to us in jesus most holy name we pray amen may god bless each one of us our lord is coming very soon maranatha